Yesterday, news broke that the showrunner, Bo, what, what's his last name? Bo De- DeMeo. It is DeMeo. Yeah. Okay, so Bo DeMeo, the creator and showrunner for X-Men 97, which we just talked at the beginning of the show, getting huge, rave responses and reactions from people who've seen the first three episodes, was out of nowhere, fired. And you know what? No one's even confirmed yet that he was fired. For all we know, he might have just left. But everybody's saying he was fired, even though nobody's confirmed that. But let's go with fired. Was fired off the show that was already done, was getting ready to debut and premiere, and he had already written all of season two and was starting to put together ideas for season three. So clearly, Disney liked what he was doing. According to the first reactions, he must have done a bang-up, incredible job, and all of a sudden, poof, he was gone. Now, on yesterday's show, Rob and I talked about the fact that clearly this was not a creative decision. This was not a situation of creative differences. Uh, Triple X Men 97. <laughs> like, this is clearly not about creative differences. Yeah. This was something that we said was probably going to be... This is something that involves HR, right? What it is... We don't know. Now, the dominant thing going around right now is that that is being brought up on even some of the major trades is saying some people are speculating this has the fact due to the fact that Bo DeMeo had an OnlyFans account and some saying he put up one or two explicit pictures of himself in OnlyFans, which I guess is what you do on OnlyFans. I have never... I'm not even exaggerating. I've never been on OnlyFans. I feel like I should just so I can be more culturally well-rounded. But I've never been there, so I assume that's what they do. (laughs) But Good. You haven't been there? Good. Yeah. (laughs) But (laughs) there's also some thoughts out there. Some people are saying, well, there's whispers that maybe, you know, he was uh, like verbally abusive or all that kind of stuff. And maybe that ends up being true. But Marvel has worked with him for years. That he's did early drafts of Blade. He was one of the. They liked his work that he did on um, Moon Knight, um, and so they have worked with him for years. So that they just suddenly thought that he was this—that's iffy to me. But again, that's what some of the whispers are, whether those whispers are true or not. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video. Harry's. You know, guys, in order to start the John Campia show, I had to leave my high paying corporate job in order to set myself up to be happier and enjoy more personal success. Because sometimes to get what you want, you have to challenge the status quo and blaze your own trail. And that's exactly what the folks at Harry's did. You see, at Harry's, they saw customers getting ripped off by questionable products in the shaving industry and decided to do something better. Harry's decided to pave their own road by making beautifully designed razors for a fraction of the price of the other big brands, except Exceptional products, honest prices. That's Harry's. I have fallen in love with Harry's from their foaming shaving gel that feels just luxurious on the skin to their incredible razor that feels just as good in the hand as it does going over your skin. They've got rich lathering skin softening body wash and scents like redwood, wildlands, and stone. You see, Harry's provides German engineered blades made in their own factory that stay sharp longer. You can get a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover for just three bucks at harrys.com slash campia. Don't settle for the status quo. Blaze your own trail with Harry's. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash campia. That's harrys.com slash campia for a $3 trial set. The main thing that uh, several of the major outlets are talking about, though, is the OnlyFans thing. And I have thoughts on that. And, and and I got two different ways of thinking on this, and I'm not even sure which way I lean. And I'm sure you guys will have your own opinions on this. My first thought is, did they really fire the guy? Now, this is, let's just for the sake of the discussion, we're assuming that the reports about that they fired him due to OnlyFans, something that neither he nor Disney have said is the facts. But let's just go with that for a second for the sake of the discussion. If they actually fired him because of having an OnlyFans and all that kind of stuff. My first thought is, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, having an OnlyFans is is legal, right? 
that there's no laws against it. It's a perfectly legal, perfectly legit thing for an individual to have, right? Perfectly legal. Perfectly legal. <laughs> the blockade. Oh, no, I walked legal. right into that. <laughs> it's, it is. Yeah, I mean. In, in as Caucasian of a way as I can say it, perfectly legal for legal. him to do <laughs> if he wants. And you, 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 you fire him for that? Now, that, that becomes, it becomes a separate conversation if they approached him and said, hey, yo, Bo, uh, we're kind of Disney, and this is kind of a cartoon. It'd be really great if you didn't have an OnlyFans account right now. <laughs> hey, Bo, I was reading some articles on OnlyFans, and uh, <laughs> we stumbled we ran into your account. <laughs> I was reading articles yeah. on OnlyFans. Yeah, we I subscribe for the articles. <laughs> now let's let's <laughs> again. It's it's a totally different conversation. If say Disney approached him and said, "Hey, listen, we noticed you got an OnlyFans. Uh, we're Disney, and this is a cartoon, and it'd be great if you could just shut that down, please." And he said, "Nah, I like having OnlyFans." Okay, maybe that's a different conversation. That becomes a different conversation. But if they just straight up went and fired the dude for having something that is completely legal. There's no rules about it. I'm like, especially if this guy made X-Men 97 as good as everybody's saying this show is right now, something I can't attest to because I haven't seen the first three episodes yet, but other people who have are saying the show's spectacular and that you liked his work so much, you had him already write season two. I think that's premature. That's one side of my brain. The other side of my brain is also, if I knew Bo DeMeo, which I do not, that maybe I would get on the phone with him at some point while he was making X-Men 97, and I knew that he had an OnlyFans, maybe get on the phone, hey, Bo, it's John. Yeah, uh, what the fuck are you doing? You're, you're, you're working for Disney, you know, the thing with the mouse, and you're making a cartoon. Not that cartoons are just for kids. And clearly X-Men 97 is targeting a big nostalgia thing for those of us who are adults. But it is a cartoon on Disney. Maybe, just maybe, it might not be the best idea right now. Maybe counterproductive to having an OnlyFans <laughs> while you're doing that. Perhaps, just throwing this out there, you might want to reconsider that course of action and take it down like right now. Just like Walmart Plus, there's a pause your account. You may want to do that. You may want to pause your account. for three months or so. Um, I are they trying like just in case there is backlash of people not liking the show? Are they just trying to prevent any more oh, or like no, anything no, like no. pointing I, out, no. pointing I, things out? Are they no? Because if that were the, if they were doing that, then nobody would work with them. Okay, okay. right. Okay. Like if you're gonna wait a minute, you're just worried people might not like X Men ninety seven, so you're and doing bring this up the, that before fact. the show even comes oh, out. Right, right. Yeah, no, they then nobody would work with them. Um, so yeah, like I said, on on one hand, I'm like, listen, having an OnlyFans is a completely legal and, and legitimate thing to do if that's what somebody wants to do. God bless. I hate to put you on the spot, John. Okay. How would you handle this situation? If I was Disney? Yeah, like let's say okay. you're here, you're Disney, and this ha like, you saw the product. Right. You know the guy has this. How would you? That's just just from. All right. A, I would like to think. Now, uh, first of all, there's a I lot would, of money involved too. I would think at least a good solid week about it before I did anything. Okay. But right, putting me on the hot seat. Here's what I think I would do. I think if I already knew that the product he was creating for us was great, and this is our third project working on with him, and apparently it's all been good working with him so far. I think I would do what I said in the first scenario. I think I would get on the phone with his reps and say, we really like working with Bo. We love what he's done with X-Men 97, but it's come to our attention that he has an OnlyFans account. And that is not consistent with our brand as Disney, nor consistent with the branding of what he's working on for us, a cartoon. And we would really like for Bo to stop and make it disappear. And then if he does do that right away, then we move forward and deal with any controversy later. If he says no, then I'm saying, 
well, we don't want to be associated. We don't want Disney to be associated with that, so we're going to have to part ways. Uh, I see. So I would give him the option. Yeah, you give him the respect of, of yes. putting the ball in his court. Yes, put the ball in his court. I would say to listen, we can't we can't be associated with this. That's fine that you are. That's great, but we don't want to be. So if you're going to work with us, you need to disassociate yourself from that. And if you don't want to, that's your right, but it's our right not to work with you. Again, this is all for the sake of the discussion, just assuming that they re- fired him over the OnlyFans thing, I just want to throw out that disclaimer again, something that neither side has confirmed and it could be other things. But if that was the thing, yeah, I'd be like, hey, we saw that, you, that this is going on. We need you to stop for us to move forward. And if he stops, then we continue moving forward. And if anybody complains about it, we deal with it. But if he puts up any resistance to it, then I would say, yeah, well, we don't want to be associated with that, so we got to part ways. I, I, man, it's, but I don't know that there's a right or wrong answer here. This here's the, this will make it more complicated. Disney is not saying anything about it. And Bo DeMeo is not saying anything mm-hmm. about it. So we're only left here on the eve of this big show that so many people have been excited about, about to premiere. We're left with to do nothing but speculate about why is the creator and showrunner not a part of it. And and from what I from what I think, just from the name, I don't think OnlyFans was had that uh, stigma about it. Uh, like you could pretty much open up an OnlyFans and uh, do something like that's not even that. I think. Right? Oh yeah, no, you can do whatever you want on OnlyFans. Yeah, just just as long as you have fans of it, you could like I could put this bottle. And just take pictures sure, of it. Sure, but people are signing up to John yeah, Campia's right, OnlyFans right. I know. to see this Italian I know, booty, but right? it doesn't, that's, as soon as someone has an OF account, I, I don't think you should just say, oh, you know, oh. F. You know what I mean? It's, it's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not, to, it's not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But I wouldn't look at them at, in that way. To say, uh, yeah, and know. again, it's, in, I've said it twice. Let me say it a third time. Nobody has confirmed. Right, 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 right that that is why he got fired, all right? This is just what's in some of the trades, and we are, for the sake of the discussion, saying, okay, if that is the case, do we agree with how Disney handled it? Do we agree? And listen, it could be a million other factors that we simply don't know about yet. But again, it's it's not even something that I would talk about, except we are on the eve of this big, highly anticipated show coming out, and something neither Rob nor I have ever seen happen before. Days before the premiere of, a, of this highly anticipated series, the creator and showrunner gets fired. I don't think I have ever seen this yeah. before. And and his social media is gone too, right? And he he deleted yeah, his social strange. media, his court, his company email got wiped out, all this kind of stuff. And it's it's really interesting to, to see. And look, clearly this is all going to come out at some point, one way or another, it's all going to come out. And then we can probably analyze it better then. Right. But for now, we're in this situation in in the entertainment space, a situation I have never seen before, we're that gonna, Rob has never seen before. We're going to need Agent Carter on the case. Yeah, he, get Agent Carter, get Burt Macklin <laughs> on the case, for those of you who know He's what that Marvel. means. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this whole situation? I mean, I don't, I don't, listen, we don't even, ha- we are very, very thin on actual facts and just having some speculative discussions based on reports. So, I, I mean, I don't know. What do you think it's going to turn out to be? How are you going to feel if it was an OnlyFans thing? Do you think, listen, it, it's a legal thing. You shouldn't have fired him for it. Or are you like, it's the Disney brand and it's a cartoon. Of course they don't want a guy who's doing OnlyFans to be so, I, I don't know. How do you feel about it? What do you think is going to come out as a result of this? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.